everyone! If you enjoy the video, please leave a like and comment what type of content you would like to see next time. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. Check out the Patreon in the video description for more stories by my team. Enjoy the video! I'm going to catch him. Samantha thought to herself as she looked at her disheveled panty drawer. She now had proof that her roommate, Nick, had been wearing her clothes, but had to catch him in the act. She did a search online for ideas on how to catch him. She looked at cameras, tape recorders, etc. But she knew it wouldn't hold up. Then she thought outside of the box and did a search for the word feminization. Sam saw a boatload of sites that were exactly what she was looking for. She then saw a link that simply said trying to keep him dressed. Is he sneaking out of the clothes you set out for him? Click here and keep him dressed until the whole house is cleaned. Perfect, she exclaimed as she clicked on the site. It was a storefront for clothes that locked together once they were put on, making it impossible to take off without a special key. She browsed for what seemed hours, filling up her virtual shopping cart. Then when she was satisfied, she went to the checkout. Holy moly. She thought, I'm going to have to save up for this stuff. She looked at her calendar, March dot and quat. She said, that could work perfectly. I could just say that I'm getting a Halloween costume and he'd be none the wiser. Over the next few months she purchased things that were on her list when she could afford them. The last, and most expensive thing, came at the end of September. They were pink patent stiletto 5 inches heels, part of the site's perfectly pretty pink patent set. Finally, everything is purchased. Now just to wait for the box to arrive. Around the middle of October, Sam come home from work as usual, Nick was on the couch playing his video games. You got another package today. You sure have gotten a lot of packages lately, what is all of that stuff? Sam's heart started racing, I owed a package, really? Where is it? Did you open it? Who is it from? How? She was cut off, it's by your bedroom door. I don't know what it is, why would I? It's not mine, so I didn't open it. Nick defensively snapped back, sorry, I just wanted to know who it was from, it's probably just the rest of my Halloween costume, it cost a fortune so I had to buy it over time. She replied as she dashed for her bedroom, grabbed the package, and locked the door behind her as she entered. She then began to pull out all of the unopened boxes that she accrued over the last few months. Damn these things cost a lot, over $1,000 for the whole set. She finally thought to herself, he'll be paying me back for what he did though, this better be worth it. Samantha began opening all of the boxes and finally seeing what everything looked like altogether. She saw pink bows on everything and wondered how everything locked together. She then saw a piece of paper that came with the bustier. The paper read, congratulations on your choice to feminize your man. There is only one good man in this world, that's an obedient one. All black widow clothing has clasps that are hidden to the naked eye, depending on what color of garment you have selected, there is a corresponding bow, or bows on it. These bows all conceal a small but durable clasp that cannot be taken apart without a key. The key can open every lock on these garments. You should also notice that everything that cannot be concealed by other clothing is very heavily ribbed. This is in the case that your man's friends happens to come over while he is dressed, he cannot simply rip or cut the garment off. You paid very well for this garment, and we can't have him destroying it. The paper went on to talk about caring for the garments, cleaning and storage. As she set the paper down with a wildly evil grin on her face, she started noticing all of the clasps that the instructions talked about. Well Sammy, it's now or never she whispered to herself as she added the key to the garment to her key ring. She got undressed and took a shower thinking about how this plan would go. She then added a generous amount of scented body powder so that the latex would slide easily across her skin. She began to put on the stockings, white seamed stockings with pink trim on top and perfect little pink bows around the top, two bows on each stocking had a clasp one front, the other in back. Then she picked up a very stiff-boned bustier with pink bows lining the bottom of it, 
white lace lined the boning and at the top there was a frilly white lace trim. As she fastened the clasps at the front of the garment she could tell that even these clasps would not come undone without the key. Even though Sam wasn't well endowed when it came to her chest, she still felt the bustier squeeze her B-cup breasts together, giving her a very nice cleavage line. She then grabbed the attached garter straps and clicked them into the clasps in the stockings. She looked in the full-length mirror to admire the shape that her body was taking. Then she thought about what Nick would look like in such a ridiculous get-up. Sam snickered to herself and realized that her heart was beating quite heavily, this was making her excited. The thought of feminizing a man was quite interesting. Sam then picked up the pink satin-lined latex panties. There were white lace ruffles on the bottom and pink satin bows across the top. Sure enough there were clasps at the top of the panties that connected to the dress she would soon put on. When she slipped them up her legs, she noticed how wet she was becoming from all of this dressing up fun. He'll love that. She thought to herself as she rubbed her hand down the front of the slippery material. Next she grabbed the shoes, remembering the price of these things, they had better hold up to him thrashing around trying to get out of this outfit. She held them up and saw that there was an ankle strap with a pink satin bow on it. Oh this just gets better and better, she said almost a little too loud. As she slipped them on her feet she realized that they were a size or two too big for her. Although she didn't have tiny feet, Nick's were a little bit bigger. These should do perfectly. Next, she pulled out the dress. It was ribbed much like the bustier only not nearly as stiff. As she held it up to the mirror she realized that this dress was a cross between a princess and a maid. A sissy maid at that. It was very frilly and puffy. There were puffs on the shoulders and breasts, a slim waistline and very roughly with petticoats at the bottom. The dress itself was vinyl and had long sleeves that hooked the thumbs at the bottom. As to disable one from rolling the sleeves up, and underneath she could feel tiny little clasps that lined up perfectly with the clasps on the panties. As she got the dress on and zipped up the back she noticed that there was a choker at the top and a clasp at the back of the neck. She clasped everything together and looked in the mirror. The choker said sissy at the front. Oh no, she gasped. If Nick sees that, he'd know something is up. She then felt around the neck and saw that the word sissy could easily be removed with a key. She did so and looked in the packaging for the dress, where she found a smaller box that had extras marked on it. She opened it and found a new piece of paper with a handwritten note on it, interchangeable tags for your sissy. One is personalized for your pleasure. All of the tags were made from latex and had different words on them. Sissy Sam slut slut be word Sam almost burst into tears laughing so hard looking at the Sam slut tag, wondering how long it would be until Nick would be wearing it. Be word will do for now. Sam whispered to herself and attached it to the choker. She was now fully trapped in this outfit and completely unable to take anything off. Nick? Samantha called from behind her door. What's up Sam? He replied, never looking away from the TV. I need your opinion on something, Sam said. I'm going to a Halloween party next week and I need to know if this thing fits me. Can you be honest for once and let me know how I look? Sure, uh, let me just pause my game, Nick said as he stood up and turned around to see Sam standing there dressed in the absolutely most frilly thing he'd ever seen in his life. Wow, ah, uh, I, ah, uh, geez Sam, why you look gg great. Really? You aren't just saying that are you? She smiled and did a turn for her prey. I really don't know if these panties fit well, she said as she lifted the folds of her petticoats and showed him her lace lined, latex covered, bottom. Oh my god. Why your boyfriend is going to love that, Nick said, now with his face as red as ever and a not so surprising bulge in the front of his jeans. Awesome. She said, now almost in a fit of laughter. I can't wait for the party now. She then went back into her room and locked the door behind her. She could hear him pacing the floor and whispering things to himself, knowing that he would probably whack off just by seeing the outfit, let alone be trapped in it. Sam then took her keys and unlocked the clasps as she carefully took everything off and hung it up in the front of her closet for easy searching for him. Just as she was finishing up, 
She heard the phone ringing in the living room. Nick answered it. A few moments later, there was a knock on her door. Kim is on the line. Why you want it or should I take a message? Nick stammered, obviously still thinking about what he had just seen. I'll be out in a second. Sam replied as she picked up her satin robe off of the bed and wrapped herself up. As she sat down at the dining room table, she began to set up a night out with her friend. Nick's heart began racing as he heard that she would be going out tonight, giving him a chance to check out Sam's new clothes. Samantha hung up the phone and said, Hey Nick, I'm gonna go out to the club tonight. Kim said she has a friend that you might like. You wanna come along? Um, nah. I really have to get some things in line for work on Monday. I really shouldn't have even been playing games right now. I'm pretty swamped, was his reply. Hmm, he's got the bait, now to set the hook. She thought, come on, Nick, we never go out with our friends anymore, with you working crazy hours and me putting in 60 hours a week, we never get a chance to hang out, let's go have a drink or two. You never know, Kim's friend might be hot. That might have been a little strong, she thought, he might take me up on that, it really sounds tempting. Nick finally replied, but if I don't get these figures done, I will lose my job, you go on ahead and have fun, bring me back something to eat if you want, I'll buy that. Just call me and tell me where you are going, okay, Sam sighed, relieved yet wanting to sound a little hurt, I'll call Kim and tell her you aren't coming. Part 2 of this story is coming out later today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, see you next time.